have a look at Talisman Digital Edition. New game. Well, I'm kicking in as the Talisman against one AI player. Fucking druid. Start in the city. Okay, first encounter. We've got a lion with a strength of three. So we're going to take him on. Now, one of my key traits as an assassin is I can I can roll my dice and prevent well, basically the the uh, the enemy doesn't get to roll at all so as long as I get over three which I have by default because I'll I'll, I'll get one uh, I can I can auto I can roll the dice but the game knows that I'm, I'm automatically gonna win so I'm gonna auto kill I'm gonna auto kill that lion I'll get a trophy for that Let's see what the druid's going to be doing. Okay. He's lost some gold. Welcome if you just joined. If you just joined the stream. If you need any explanation of what I'm doing, because it's not World of Tanks, um, I'll try and uh, talk you through what's going on. So basically playing the digital version of Talisman, which is a... Uh, which is a classic board game. Uh, I'm just playing a just a two-player game against computer AI, just to get myself familiar with the way the uh, the way the game works. I played it for a little bit on uh, on the iPad, um, but we're going we're going full PC so we can so we can stream this bad boy. So we're just going to have a little sample game tonight. So uh, the, I guess the object of the game is for me to uh, get to this thing in the centre, which I can't remember the name of. And defeat all the other enemies, i.e., in this match, the druid, to win the game. But in order to do that, I need to uh, I need to build up some stats um, in order to survive that central area. So you've got three zones: you've got the outer zone, uh, then you've got the middle zone, which is across the river, and then you've got the deep middle zone, which is the very very dangerous area. Um, as I say, we're just going to go. We're just going to play, trying to amass some um, some strength, maybe some crafts. Not important to me. I think for me, it's all about strength, uh, without losing uh, lives. Now I've got fate points here. Fate points allow me to re-roll a dice if I want to. I want to try and preserve those. And I also have gold. I can use that to buy things at various points within the game. So uh, I've rolled a three. It's given me an option. I can either go to the uh, the city or to the tavern. I'm going to go to the tavern now because I occupy the same uh, spot on the board as the druid. I can actually attack the druid, and um, I'm going to kick his ass because I want to. And I hate this fucking druid. I played one game before I streamed tonight, and I was up against the druid, and the the guy dicked me over. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to I want to try and destroy him. So I'm going to encounter the character. Uh, I'm going to go for an assassination, and we're going to roll the dice, see what we get. Yeah, I mean some of that. We go take a life point off the druid see he's gone from four to three hey raise the dead good to see you on, on the stream buddy and that's the end of the turn so I had a choice I could either encounter the 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 space I landed on or encounter the other character and I chose to uh, attack the druid so we'll just wait for the druid's turn to play out and it's down to me to roll. <laughs> I 
can I be a complete dick and just follow him around and just batter him? Yes, absolutely I can. Because <laughs> that's the kind of guy I am as an evil assassin. Uh, yeah. Now, why is he not letting me assassinate? I'm not sure. Maybe I, I missed something. Let's roll anyway. Oh, it did. It did let me assassinate. There we go. It's life down to two. Oh, I'm going to get you, Druid. Right, the Druid's having a think. Right, this is going back up there. Uh, drawing a spell like a druid does. And he's, oh, look, he's healed himself. Okay, I, mean, I can. Oh, hang on. He's got an encounter. So that was an ally, and he chose not to. Uh, not to take it so it remains on the board so if I end up at that square uh, that, that sp space on the board uh, I in theory could uh, take on that mercenary as an ally so if I click on the druid's avatar I can see what's in his in inventory I'm not going to be able to see what spells he's carrying because that's private to him but I know that he's got a uh, what, what's he got here he's got a magic object and uh, that adds a strength uh, adds one strength uh, during a battle so good good for him good for him let's focus on what I'm doing oh. no I'm not going to be a dick let's go to the graveyard I'm, a, I'm of evil alignment so I can actually visit the uh, the graveyard without losing a life uh, but it's saying here now um, if I pray within the graveyard uh, I get to roll the dice if I roll 1 to 4, my prayers are ignored. If I roll a 5, I gain a fate point. And if I roll a 6, I gain a spell. So let's roll. So I'm ignored. Now, you see there, it's given me the option to re-roll. I can re-roll the dice if I wanted to. It will cost me a fate point. I only have three of them at the moment. I want to try and preserve those for the time being. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna let the turn play out. I didn't gain anything, but I didn't lose anything. So let's see what the druid wants to do. All right, so he's taking on a hobgoblin. And he's defeated him. Which is nice. So let's roll my dice, see where we can go. Now I could go to the further into the center of the board. However, things get a little more treacherous and hairy. And if I want to go to the center of the board, Route 1 is going via this uh, this space here, and it's guarded by a sentinel who's got a strength rating of 9. So as it stands right now, I don't... I could probably, you know, I could beat him, but I need to improve my overall stats of my character before I venture into the centre of the board. So I've got an option. I can either go to the crags on the left here. If it's going to let me... Uh, oh, let's just close that down. It's just going to let me go to the crags, or... I can go to the ruins. Go to the ruins, I can actually draw two cards, so let's do that. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, draw a couple of adventure cards. So I've got a magic object, a uh, potion of strength. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a one-shot card, so I basically use it and it'll increase my strength by two until the end of the turn. Uh, let's see what the second card is. Now this is quite a good card. I've had this one before, it's the cross. So if I go to the chapel, which is in the bottom left hand side of the corner I believe, if I didn't have that card I'd automatically lose a life because my alignment is evil. So that's a useful card for me to have. So we'll just take them both because I don't think there's a limit in the spells. There is a limit in the amount of objects I can carry though. But there is a way around that, we'll discuss it a little later on. I think there's a card you can pick up called a mule. Oh, he's casting a spell on me. What's he doing? This is where he starts being a dick. He's stealing an item from me. I bet he's... Yeah, take that. I don't care about having that. 
Yeah. What an asshole. He stole a card off me. Um, what beer am I drinking? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I've just pulled it out of the fridge and opened it. So, um, I can't remember what it's called. Give me a second, I'll find out. What he's doing is he encounter, he's encountering a ghost. I've not even logged this yet, so I'll probably need to uh, think about doing that at some point. Let's have a look at my wish list. Because it's stored on my wish list in the meantime. Let's roll the dice. I've got a two. So I can go to the tavern. Or I'm going to go to the forest. Potentially get an encounter. I actually want to encounter enemies because... Um, there is an advantage to defeating uh, enemies and I feel pretty badass as an assassin so I'm going to travel there roll the dice to see what happens if I roll a 1 I get attacked by a brigand with strength 4 2 to 3 I just lose, uh, get lost and uh, lose my next turn 4 to 5 nothing happens and 6 a ranger guides me out and I gain a craft point so I'm safe and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that roll because nothing bad's happened to me. Just trying to find out what beer I'm drinking. It's terrible that I don't know what it is. Michela Burger. It's an American pale ale. So that answers your question, my friend. Right, I need to focus on what's going on here because I don't like this druid. Give me all sorts of problems in the last game. A standoff. So they got they they basically had an equal score. So the card stays within the space and the turn is completed. So down to me. Uh, let's go here. Just draw a card. Fields. A wraith. Now he's he's not going to attack me with standard combat. Combat. He's going to um, he's going to attack me with craft. So I've got a craft rating of three, but I can't use an assassinate skill with uh, with a craft attack. So this one is actually going to be a tough uh, a tough bit of combat for me. So he's got a craft of five. So basically, you roll your dice, you add your uh, your current score. So that puts me up to eight. So if he gets two or below, I'll beat him. And there we go. So whenever you defeat an enemy, um, the defeated monsters, you basically collect them as trophies. And you can actually trade those trophies in for skill points a little later in the game once you've, once you've got enough of them. So we'll come to that in a second. Okay. He's drawing... So he, he just arms himself with tons of spells like a dick. And he's got himself a follower as well. Uh, what was that follower he just got? Um, you only need to roll one dice when opening the portal of power by craft and two dice in mines. Basically that's a, that, that's a centre board card uh, that, will, that will help him out. Oh, so I've got a two. Let's go back here. Let's draw some more cards. Hope to get some encounters. The Marsh will remain here for the rest of the game. Whenever you land here, if your strength is less than five, you must miss one turn. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to miss a turn. Dick. Alright, so he's visiting the Enchantress. He's rolled a six, so he gains a spell. I don't know what it is, but he's got a spell. I miss a turn, so the druid gets to roll again. Can I go now? Perfect. I need to build I need to build my character up. That's what needs to happen. Let's go to the forest. A six, I gain a craft. Ranger guides me out. That'll do. I'll take a craft point. So my craft's gone from three to four. 
and you can see it's green because it's exceeded what my uh, what my standard uh, score would be or my standard craft would be so it's been modified Back in with the Enchantress, and he's going to craft point. Very to me. Now, go to the ruins, I'll draw two cards. Come on, something good. Give me something good. Okay, I've got a bag of gold. I get to fight an ogre. I'm happy with that. And the order in which you take these cards on is by this, uh, this number here in the green, the green circle. So the lower the number determines the priority. So I'll take on the ogre first. Now I'm going to opt to assassinate. So all I need to do is score two or higher. Uh, sorry, three or higher to kill him. So there we go. Job done. Because he doesn't get to roll his dice because I'm a sneaky bastard. And I get a bag of gold. Okay, so you'll see here now there's an option to trade trophies. So basically I can cash these cards in um, as long as the value of the cards adds up to seven or higher. Uh, I could trade that for, so I could trade the ogre and the lion because the strength combined goes up to eight. Uh, I could trade that for a strength point and uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I want to try and boost my strength a little early on so I can uh, survive these battles a little better. Okay, he's collecting gold. Right, so I'm not going to go to the marsh because that is a dick place. Yeah, don't want to go there. So I'm going to go here. I'm just draw an adventure card. Okay, I'm visited by the devil. If I'm of evil alignment, I gain a life, which I am. I am evil. So that's a good that's a good encounter for me. And should see my life go up to five. Excellent. Okay, over to the druid. Oh, he's re-rolling. He doesn't like his roll. He's, he's used up a fate point. He's gone back to that mercenary. And he's, he's taken the he's taken the mercenary on. It's cost him a gold uh, to do that because the mercenary doesn't work for free. He's like a cell sword. Okay, let's. Oh, oh, what was that on that uh, space there? Right, we go and take on a dragon, or I'll go back to the ruins and draw two cards. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I've got a bandit. I can either bribe him with a gold or fight him. He's only got a strength of four, so I'm, I, I will battle him, and I get another gold. So. Let's do the encounter. I am bribing you, mate. I'm going to assassinate you. Die, scum. And I get a gold. Right, back to the druid. Alright, stuff happened there. Don't know exactly what happened because his move um, goes quite quickly. Let's focus on what we're doing. Uh, go here. Let's draw a card. Okay, if I'm good alignment, I gain a life. If I'm evil, I lose a life. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to lose a life. I have no card to play that can avoid that encounter, so one life gone for me. Back down to four.
face of the shadow. Forest. Five, I'm safe. But nothing else going on. Bit of a wasted turn for me that was, I think. Right, where is he gonna go? Okay, let's see what he encounters. A maze. If your craft is less than five, you get lost. Well, he's not gonna get lost because his craft is five. Yes it is. Okay, um, I'm going to go around this bottom end of the board. Okay, encountering an enemy, it's a bear. Only a strength three, so assassination, also kill. But in the meantime, I'm collecting my trophies. So I could cash in. See, if, if I can get exactly seven, I'm making the most of my points. Because anything above seven, you still only get one strength. So if I cash in the four and the three, trade for strength, and that's improving. This is why I want to encounter enemies, because that's my route to building up strength. So this again, the Enchantress. Go on, one. Give him a one. Damn it. Go here. I'm not crossing into the centre part, so I don't have to. Um, I don't have to encounter that sentinel. I'll just draw an adventure card. Okay, Mephistopheles uh, encountered on a mission to this land. If you're evil, gain one craft, which I am. So, give me a craft, buddy. One craft point. Some crafts up to five. Yeah, take that dragon on, baby. And he scored a one. Ha 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 ha! Dicked. Probably dicked. Okay, so that takes his life down to four. Uh, what's that one there? The crags. Hmm. Okay, it's a bit of a risk-reward location. Alternatively, I'll go to the village. Uh, visit the mystic. I don't want to become good. That's the problem. Okay, lesser of two evils. I'm going to go to the crags. Let's roll the dice. I'll say I'll be happy with the one, but no, I miss a turn. Um, early game, so I'm not going to re-roll. I'm not going to waste a fate point on that. I'm happy to. Uh, I'm happy to miss a turn. Oh, he's fed the book of spells. Good for you, druid. I miss a turn. Druid rolls again. Wild ball with the strength of one. Oh, he's only rolled a one. He could still get it. Oh, you lucky boy. Alright, oh, turn to me. Give me a five. Let's go up here. Up against an ogre, strength of five. I'm going to encounter that. I'm going to assassinate and auto kill because my strength is five, so I'm guaranteed to uh, to roll over. And I'll just keep accumulating those trophies because I'll trade them in. Okay, what was on this space here? Yeah, I'm going to take a dragon on. Three or higher. I'll do. Let's see if 
I can trade some trophies yet. Strength of seven. I'll trade that for strength. My strength's starting to creep up nicely now. If I build that up, get it into double figures, I'll be happy. Potentially ready to go into the, the middle board then. Okay, Druid versus Bandit. Squad seven. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> oh, he's re-rolled. Okay. But he's used a fake point. So he's down to two now. Okay, what's he cashing in? A couple of cards. Get his strength up. Now, I don't think I want to go to the city. No. I want to go to the woods. A wraith. Uh, okay, it's going to be an even match because my craft is five as well. So let's have it. Oh, couldn't ask for better than that, could I? And there we go. We defeated him by one, which is nice. Have I got enough craft to try? So I've killed two wraiths. But that's ten points where I only need seven. If I can get another enemy with a lower craft, I'll hold on to those for a while. Let's see what the druid's doing. Okay, so he's picked up a follower. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here. Draw a card. An imp. I meet a mischievous imp. Roll one die to determine where he teleports you. Oh, he's just gonna, he's just gonna piss me off somewhere, isn't he? Okay, where are we going? The forest. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, Attack by a brigand with strength four. Cool. I don't mind that. Assassinate, auto kill. And we're good. Uh, let's see for more trading. No, it's just that one there. Okay. No. We'll end the turn. That's an interesting card. Can I see what that was? You cannot cast spells, including the command spell. No spells will affect you other than the command spell. Now, in theory, that might work in my favour early game, because that means the, tru the druid can't cast his wicked spells to steal shit from me. So I might go after that, and then I'll drop it. I can actually discard that card later in the game. So I'm going to make that my mission to go and pick that card up. Rolling a 1 isn't going to cut it. But let's go. Whenever you have to draw adventure cards, you may discard one card of your choice that you do not wish to encounter and draw one more card to replace it, which you must encounter. Oh, that could be useful. We'll take that object. And if it's a one shot, I'm not sure. rolled a blizzard. I think that's impacted all of us. I think we can only move one space so let's go to let's go to the ruins draw two cards. Oh that's a nice object. One strength and one craft. I'm happy with that and I can take a wolf on as well. No problem with that. Let's assassinate and then pick up the ring. Now I need to get that card because otherwise he's going to be stealing shit off me. He'll be able to, he'll be able to open my deck and see what I've got. So he'll see that I've got the ring, I've got the cross. They're both quite desirable objects, so I really need to get that uh, that amulet. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, you can have your Holy Grail, mate. Yeah, I like that. It's a good follower. It's going to add one strength and one craft to my total. So we'll take that. Oh, turn into a toad. Is he going to re-roll? There he is. Oh, he's lost his strength. I'm happy with that. And now that blizzard effect has, uh, has dissipated, so we're back to rolling dice to move. Uh, to the plans. If your craft is less than five, which it isn't, okay. So, nothing lost, nothing gained. Damn, he's got a talisman. He can get to the uh, to the centre of the board now if he wanted to. But he's, he's nowhere near powerful enough, so he'll be banking that. Me rolling ones isn't going to really help, but let's keep going. An evil darkness from the netherworld sweeps the land. All characters except those of evil alignment must miss one turn. Oh, well, that's actually good for me because I'm evil. Which means I get to roll again. Oh, a very easy, or should be a very easy encounter. Yep, it's an auto kill. So, let's see. get the druid to move out of the way. Yeah, you don't want to take me on, do you, buddy? Right, I need. I'd like to roll a three, please, because that will land me on my uh, on my object that I so desperately need. Oh, you beauty! Okay, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that object. It's going to protect me from any spell that the druid wants to cast on me. I'm really happy with that. Uh, with that find. Oh, you're joking. That vortex. Has that nicked my... Uh... Oh, no, because it wasn't a spell. It was an object. He's just lost all of his spells, I think. Yeah, he's only, he's only got one spell now. Oh, I'm happy with that. Okay. What have we got on this... Yeah, let's go and get that dragon. Uh, assassinate, also kill. Which means I can trade him in. In fact, oh, actually I want to trade the dragon. And I'm also going to trade the ogre and the wolf. That's put my strength up to 10. We're doing good here, go boys and girls. So far, so good. I'm protected from the Druid spells. I'm collecting strength quite nicely. Oh, I'll be interested to see how he gets on with this demon. <laughs> Unlucky. adventure card happy with that adds another strength okay I've got too many objects now so I need to discard one I'm 
I'm going to drop the cross. That's what I'm going to do. Always oh, cast a destruction spell on the demon, he's banished it. Okay. I'd have done the same in, in his position, to be honest. Magic portal. Where's he getting transported to? The city. Oh, one space. Good lad. Good lad. Alright, he's trading some stuff for gold. Crack on, my son. Uh, let's get down here. A pixie. Uh, I don't need to roll a dice in the forest unless I wish to. If I choose to roll, I must accept the result. I may evade creatures and characters in the woods. Well, I'll take the I'll take the follower because I don't want the druid to have them. Should be an easy win for the druid. going to go to the chapel because I will lose a life if I go there so I'm just going to go to the uh, to the sentinel spot. I'm not taking him on because I'm not crossing over but I get a nice uh, magic object which adds another strength so oh decisions decisions this is why I need to find the mule Now I'm going to trade it for the sword because the magic belt gives me a strength all round whereas the uh, the weapon gives me a strength only during battle so I'm going to ditch the sword. He's using his magic portal again to the warlock's cave. Interesting. I don't think he's going to last very long in the centre of the map there. I don't think he wanted to do that. Um, I can go to the village or I can go to the crags. I want to go to the crags. And I miss a turn. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. Some. Oh, poor druid. He needs to go again because I missed a turn. All right, so he's dispelling the serpent. We needed to do that, to be honest. He's drawing a spell. I think he gets to draw a spell every turn, you know, as a druid. I think that's one of his uh, character traits. So the runes. Okay, I think he can heal up to your your life limit. He doesn't take it beyond, so. And he's at his he's at his base level at the moment on four. Um, so I go to the woods. Let's go to the fields. Okay, a prince. Uh, I can have up to two lives per visit healed at the castle for free. Or I can exchange the prince for three gold at the castle. 
Hop on, buddy. Come join me. Now, where's he going to transport? Where's he transporting himself to? Tavern or oh, Crags. Go to the Crags. I don't mind a one, a four, a five, or a six. Six is great because I get an extra strength, so I'll take that. Do you know what? I think I'm feeling. I need to find a talisman before I can. Uh, gain access to that uh, whatever it's called the um, the crown of command that's the object of the game to get to the crown of command and then cast the command spell to destroy destroy my enemies so I should really think about trying to get all the talisman I'm going to go to the graveyard because I'm evil um, it's actually not a bad place for me to go one to four I won't get anything if I roll a 5 I'll gain a fate point and if I roll a 6 I'll gain a spell. That's fine. I'm happy to be ignored. I'm curious to see how this druid's going to ha handle himself in the middle. And he's used all his fate points. buying stuff. What's he done? He's just bought a mule, I think, which means he can carry more objects. That's what I need to get hold of. I need to get hold of a mule. Now, I'm not sure if I've just... I can't have passed up the opportunity to buy something. I'm not on that square. So... Uh, I'll go to the marsh or go to the hills. I'll go to the hills. So I get a talisman. Yes! Uh, Alright, I definitely need to drop something now. Uh, I'm going to drop the orb of knowledge. I've not really been making use of that, so. Alright, I'm going to start heading towards the centre. So I can. Oh, I've elected to go to the Hidden Valley. I didn't mean to do that, but regardless, let's rock and roll. Assassinate, also kill. So I've got 12 strength. Right then, draw three cards. There's already one. There's already one there. Do we know what it is? Oh, let me tell me what it is. Okay, let's draw the cards. Uh, get a guide. And an enemy. Uh, instructs how many, for every three gold you pay, you miss one turn and gain either a point of strength or craft. Let's take on the ape. Let's auto kill him. Uh, so I could spend three gold. I spent three gold. What did I get? Something. Gained a strength. Uh, okay. 
got my uh, 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 turn. I spent three gold and gained a strength. Okay. Now that is a quality card. And let me tell you why. The follower he's just picked up is a hag. And what she does is she's basically hanging around his neck like a lodestone because all his other followers have disappeared because the, the hag banishes all of them. So he's stuck with the hag and can't pick up any other followers. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that result. Okay, so I've got an option. Uh, the Black Knight, pay a gold or lose a life, or the hills. I'll get the hills. Get a gold. Any trading I can do. Uh, else I'll hang fire on that don't know what happened to him then all right let's think about going into the uh, the inner sanctum bit of a gamble but what are my other options so I can go to the rooms I can go to the castle I don't need healing so or head into the plains of peril come on let's go uh, right Pull the power draw one card do not draw a card if there's already one in the space. If you're crossing to the Plains of Peril, do not draw a card. Instead, you must first use Craft to pick the lock or Strength to force it. Choose which ability you are using and roll two dice. But I've got Auto Open there, so I don't know whether that's a trait of my character. Doesn't tell me. I'm gonna go for auto open. I might have to take that. Now I need I need to find an object. Am I am I able to drop objects willy nilly? I wonder. Okay. Roll three dice, subtract your strength strength from the total and move two. Alright, oh potentially I'm gonna get teleported somewhere. So I need I need low rolls. Which is fine. That's good. That means I stay in the crypt. Now is it? I'm just wondering. Does it let me discard? Oh, it does let me ditch. Okay, that's what I wanted to check. I'm not ditching it yet. only move one square at a time in this uh, in this center area dice with death now, this is where I got stuck in my earlier match because I basically have to roll two dice for me and then two dice for death um, and this potentially could cost me some life 
So this is why it's, this was a bit of a gamble because I've only got four life. So two dice for myself. I basically need to beat death's roll. That just sucks. Uh, I'm going to use a fate point to re-roll one of the dice. Oh god, it gets worse. Alright, death rolls a ten. Oth. Fudge. This could cost me the game. Okay. He seemed to be rolling a lot of tens in the last match. I wonder if the dice are loaded. If he rolls another ten, I'm calling bullshit. I'm just saying now. And the druid failed against the hobgoblin. Okay. Now we find out. Seven. If he, I'm gonna re-roll the two oh, for another two. I'm getting dicked over here, and now death's roll. Nine. Jesus Christ, you asshole! Well, I'm down to two life. Anything I can trade, only craft. Only craft, that doesn't help me out at the moment. Hey Jamman, how you doing? Good to see you buddy. Druid's kicking ass and taking names. If I go back to the crypt... No, it's not going to help me. Okay, I'm going to have an... You may not leave this space. Am I stuck here with death? Have I got basically two rolls to win or, or to lose this game? Right, I need a high roll please. I'm going to re-roll the one. Ah, oh, Fudge. Now death's roll. What was that? Was that... That was a five and a five, wasn't it? So it's a stalemate. Unbelievable. All right, Drew is taking three turns. Three turns. <laughs> Carry on, Druid. No, this isn't tanks, Jamman. <laughs> Very perceptive of you, mate. Come on, Druid, have you finished dicking about? He's lost a follower. No, let's get the follower. Okay, come on, please. RNG, please be kind to me. Yes! Give me a 12. Mother bitch. I was going to say, if we rolled a 12, I would have I would have smashed the screen. You would have, you would have seen this stream ending rather abruptly. I've beaten death. 
Okay. All I need to do is make it to the centre. I don't care what you're doing, buddy. Well, it's werewolf den. Roll two dice for the werewolf strength, then fight it. If you lose, you lose one life and you fight the same werewolf again in your next turn. You cannot move until you've defeated the werewolf. Okay. Roll two... Ah, oh, roll two dice for the werewolf. Oh, I should be okay. There you go. It's got a strength of two. Auto kill. there. Oh, we're getting close to it. Close to it. I can almost taste the victory. <laughs> Valley of Fire. You must have a talisman to enter. Yeah, the crown of command. Go there. Beware, you may not cast the command spell whilst you have the amulet. Ditching the amulet here is recommended. I agree. I agree. Let's find my amulet, which has helped me out so very, very well. Amulet ditched. Here we go. Crown of Command. Crown of Command. Oh yes, I'm in the centre. Cast a command spell. So basically, what what I get to do is, um, if a one, a two, or a three is rolled on my turn, I don't do any damage to the druid. If I do, if I roll a four, five, or a six the druid loses a life point and he's only on two life so I only need to do that twice to win the game come on what alright use your spells you dick I'm a patient guy Right, next command spell. No spell for me, Druid. What a shame. What do I need? Four, five, or a six? Let's do this. Yes! Yes! Okay, it's his life down to three. Well, let's do it three more times then. Or maybe the hobgoblin can help me out. Yes! <laughs> Unlucky son! Next command spell. I'm like the Eye of Sauron at the top of this mountain, wreaking havoc upon my enemies. Oh, yes! Absolutely getting ready for the weekend. Ah, uh, yes, yes I am, mate, yes I am. This is, this is excellent. I must say, it's excellent. It's a good, uh, it's a good port. Okay. So he's down to one life. What 
What's he going to do? Oh, he's getting himself healed. He's here, isn't he? Oh, no, because he's saddled with the hag. <laughs> he's saddled with the hag, so he can't pick up that uh, that princess. Oh, I feel so sorry for you, poor druid. Particularly when you dicked me over so much in the last game. Yeah, the tutorial's really good. When you when you play the game for the first time, it does uh, it does take you through it really well. Right then, this potentially could be the game winning roll. He's on one life. I need a three. Sorry, what do I need? Four, five, or a six. Yeah, one, two, three. Ain't gonna hit him. Four, five, or six. Take a life off him, and he's down to one. Okay, people. RNG. Yes! You son of a bitch! Any spell to mitigate it? Oh, look at it! Oh, I'm such a ninja. I'm not a ninja, I'm an assassin. Ninja's another character you can uh, you can play. Oh, I'm really happy. I won. Oh, look, levels. Achievement progress. Oh, look at this. Bars going upwards. Mmm. Come on. Oh, what, what's happened here? Uncle Fist to level 2. Congratulations, you've gained a level. Select one runestone card to keep. Okay, so it's important decision time here. So I've got a rune of resistance. Which means that if I get turned into a toad, it's only two turns instead of three. Health gives me a plus one to my starting lives. That's pretty useful. And alertness. Uh, you'll never miss a turn when you roll a one at the tavern. I think this one's a no-brainer for me, really. Plus one, plus one to my health at the start of a uh, start of a game. I think it's really useful. So, can I select that and tick? All right. Oh, is that it? Have you finished? Have you finished scrolling my bar upwards? Level two, forty-six percent leaderboards Jesus Christ level 100 global friends oh look at this no friends it's because you haven't played it yet Pete and you get your ass on there and play I've tell I've, I've really really I've really enjoyed playing this tonight I was a bit I was a bit uncertain because the the reviews are somewhat mixed on uh, on on Steam but I'm, I'm glad. I'm really glad I got it. Or should I say, I'm really glad that Pete gifted it to me. <laughs> let's be let's be truthful. Um, we had a chat about this uh, earlier on today, and he happened to have a spare key, um, a spare redeemable copy of the game. So we're diving in. So I think the next time, the next time we stream this, I think potentially I'm going to be playing against another human being. And it's more than likely going to be Pete, who's in uh, who's in chat at the moment. So, oh, do you know what? I could I could play this all night, but I'm not going to because um, well, I've got work I've got work tomorrow. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed watching me play this. Um, obviously, the full the full game will be available to view um, after this stream is finished, so you can go back and uh, watch from the beginning. Uh, if you so choose, but if not, hang in there and uh, keep an eye out because the next time I stream it will either be World of Tanks or it will be Talisman. So thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for tuning in. I'm going to sign off and I shall see you next time. <laughs>